Hello and welcome back to CCFC. I just spat everywhere and today I'm going to be spitting some insane harsh truths about who and why I think are going to win each competition. The Premier League, the FA Cup, the Champions League and maybe the Bundesliga 2. <laughs> We're fucked. Now this website, which looks like it was made in 1998, allows you to predict every single score for the rest of the final match days. So that's exactly what I've done. I've ignored everyone else because honestly that's just too much on my morning. We're just doing who's going to win. I've done Arsenal, Liverpool and City's final games. I've gone for a 2-0 win against Chelsea for Arsenal. That seems reasonable, doesn't it? Okay, that seems like a perfectly reasonable Chelsea is shit. Maybe they'll get one goal, but if they can't beat Burnley at home, are they going to go away to Arsenal and get anything? Unlikely. Now, never say never in football, but uh, uh, maybe never. Everton, Liverpool, I've gone for a very ambitious draw. Now, it's at Goodison Park, and Everton are admittedly bad and this is probably a hopeful result however i feel like there's been in in run-ins i feel like everton even though they need points to stay up really just dig in dig in in the derby against liverpool so i've gone for an ambitious nil nil because i think if liverpool score i think there is no way everton score i'm hoping for the world's worst game the world's best defensive performance there derbies you never know what will happen Unless it's the Merseyside derby, in which it usually uh, is, is Liverpool winning. City, my team away at Brighton. Usually a tricky little bugger. However, Brighton, uh, they're a bit... You know what I mean? I personally think that's how pundits should describe them on TV. Welcome back to Monday Night Football. Today we're going to talk about Brighton, who are a bit... I think we win down there they're not their peak Brighton best but do they still have Europe they don't have Europe they've been battered by Rome haven't they I think they sort of finished the season with a bit of a whimper and we need to win so I back us to win now this website does it by the actual game week so these are like rescheduled games so here we've got Liverpool versus Sheffield United which will be happening tonight an easy 4-0 win it should be like 8-0 there is zero chance Sheffield United get anything from this game even score let alone put liverpool in any jeopardy there is no chance not an iota of energy in the universe in which sheffield united can possibly win this game i'm trying to jinx it okay liverpool will win 12 nil sheffield united will not have a shot on target liverpool will win 18 4 sheffield united will not even score four of those goals. Liverpool will do it themselves. Now, the week after, we've got Crystal Palace away. I've gone for 1-0. Now, I'd actually probably go for a draw if Roy Hodgson was still in charge. But because old matey, is it Oliver Glasner? Is he the manager? I can't remember. Palace have just sort of gone off the radar now. I think they're going to be fine for the rest of the season. So, no one's really that fussed about them. Pretty much like every season. But Roy Hodgson's... Crystal Palace had a tendency to just be painful against us. Especially away. 1-1 one, one draws, 0-0 nil, nil draws. I've seen them in person and they're horrible to watch. However, their current manager is like, you know, I, I like to give it a go. So, I think that will enable us to score. But I think there will still be a mental sort of battle from us in this game. Same as Crystal Palace. Because somehow history, even if managers change, teams change, history comes into it. And it makes no bloody sense, does it? But I'll give us the win there. Brighton at home to Arsenal. I've also gone going out for a whimper. Now, I feel like Brighton might put up a stronger game against Arsenal than us. But I think Arsenal are just much better than Brighton. And I don't think they're dropping points. This could be an easy one for me to put 2-2. Two -two. A bias 2-2. Two -two. But I back Arsenal to beat Brighton. I don't think Brighton are turning up at this point. You never know when they'll turn up. That's the issue with Brighton. They're very... Mm, you don't know which Brighton are going to turn up. But it's it's probably the one which um, will lose to Arsenal. Now, controversially here. I've gone for United beating Liverpool. In that FA Cup game, United were awful. Absolutely honking. 
but so are Liverpool. And Liverpool could have easily been three or four ahead in the first half, but they weren't. So, I the derbies, honestly, there is no sense of form or anything. Every time we go up against United in a derby, um, as a City fan, it's like, everyone's like, oh, you're going to beat them 12 nil. We never beat them 12-0, all right? Anytime it feels like that, we never batter them. But if it's like, oh, if he form could get at them, I'm more confident of battering them, if that makes sense. I don't know how that works, but that's how it works. So I've gone for a United 2-1 win. I think at home, they're still trying to get fourth. I think maybe they'll get their arse in gear for this one. They've got the added thing of wanting to stop Liverpool getting to the title, um, even if it means opening it up for us. But I think that's a reasonable prediction. Now, I'm going to this game, actually. Manchester City versus Luton. I'm going for a 5-1. We can't keep a clean sheet. But I think at home, we st like, Luton away seems to be a different kettle of fish. I never really f understood what that thing means. Why do you have more than one kettle that has a fish in it? Odd. I think it's a relatively safe bet of a battering. Uh, Liverpool at home to Palace. Don't think Palace are going to cause any problems away at Anfield at all. Arsenal Aston Villa. I've gone for a controversial 2-2. Unai Emery coming back to haunt them. Now, this is on the 14th of April. So, Aston Villa just fielded a weakened team last night against City. And they still got a goal and it was difficult, but we were pretty good in the end. I feel like for this game, Emi Martinez will be back. Ollie Watkins will be back. It's going to be much, much different. John McGinn, he will be back. So, yeah, I've gone for a draw. I think that's perfectly reasonable. City away at Tottenham. Now, we have a honking record until this year when we won 1-0 away in the Cup. Now, this, all, for me, is a hopeful shout because Tottenham are... It's hard to know which Tottenham will turn up, but they will turn up and they will definitely score. However, similar with Roy Hodgson's pass, now that Tottenham have changed manager and play a different way, I feel much more confident of beating Tottenham, even though we drew at home earlier in the season. I'm just very hopeful off the back of that Aston Villa game last night that maybe, maybe there's a bit of strong Manchester City performances coming through. Rodri, absolutely, oh, just what a guy. An ambitious 2-1, but I feel like if someone who wasn't a City fan predicting this would maybe go for a draw or a Tottenham win, I'm going for a 2-1. Wolverhampton, Wanderers and Arsenal. I go for a more one or draw. Do I believe that? No, I'm going to go for, you know, it's tricky, maybe a sticky, tricky Gary O'Neill uh, performance. However, I feel like they've fallen off the wayside a little bit. I'm going to change this to a 2-1 Arsenal win. That feels more unbiased, doesn't it? Fulham, Liverpool, don't know what Fulham will turn up. But I don't think it'll be one that will beat Liverpool. So I've gone 2-1 to Liverpool. West Ham United, Liverpool. Now, I feel like this could be a tricky one. I feel like West Ham could throw up maybe a draw here. Okay. I feel like they like to get involved with title races sometimes. Oh, do I go for a draw? Common sense says a Liverpool win, but I can imagine a draw. Some sort of sticky, tricky one. I'm going to go for a sticky, tricky 2-2. I don't know. I'm just feeling something in my loins. Tottenham, Arsenal. Also a derby. And I've also gone for a 2 all. Now that I've put 2-2 there. And then I've also put 2-2 for a City. This feels unlikely to happen. Someone's going to win. You know what? I'm going to back us to win away at Forest. It's going to be a horrible game. But I back us to win away now. Tottenham, Arsenal, 2 all. Oh, Spurs are going to be so... I feel like this is likely to be a draw, though. I'm, yeah, I'm back in this. I'm back in these selections. Arsenal, Bournemouth. Arsenal blowing them away. 3-1. Is that blowing some... Can you blow someone away 3-1? I feel like you technically could if you are 3-0 up. And then I've got Liverpool, Tottenham. I've gone for a Liverpool 2-1 win. These are, it's usually a good game, Liverpool, Spurs. But I feel like at Anfield, Spurs will go for it which I feel like will leave them open. So yeah, 2-1. And City at home to Wolves. 
I think we blow them away, 3-0. I think at this point we're in good form. The Wolves won't really have anything to play for. The following week, Aston Villa, Liverpool. Aston Villa at home, not so good, but I think we got very lucky yesterday with having a weakened side. I can't lie. We played very well, but I think Villa put in a shift and I think a two-all a two-all draw feels accurate. Us away at Fulham, I think we dispatch Fulham. I think we do. United at home to Arsenal. What I seem to be preying on are derbies and, and playing like a top four side. That's what I'm clinging on to. We don't seem to have many of those left. We have tricky teams in the table, but we don't seem to have many top five. We've got Tottenham, and I think that's it. The other thing we have to contend with is obviously a Champions League campaign. But Arsenal also have to contend with that and Liverpool are contending with a Europa League one, which probably won't affect them that much, to be honest, because I don't think that'll matter for them. But it will matter in terms of maybe injuries and, so, and just tiredness. So I'm back in this. Now, the final day of the season, I go Arsenal easily beating Everton. I don't think there's any issue there. Liverpool easily beating Wolves. Uh, I like how I've given them conceding one and not us. That's funny. <laughs> um, now we've got us getting past West Ham United. We played them on the final day before, so I think that comes into my thinking. And I, we we do not lose to West Ham at home. We don't. I'm going to check the history on that, but we do not lose to West Ham at home. We lost away 2021. I was there for that one in the League Cup. But apart from that, we haven't lost at home to West Ham since 2015, nearly 10 years. And then before that, we hadn't lost to West Ham at City since 2006. So, I, um, yeah, I'm okay with this. Let's calculate it and see where everyone's ended up. Um, okay. <laughs> now, I feel like maybe... <laughs> I might be a little bit biased here, okay? We're, we're going to end up on 91 points, according to me. And Arsenal and Liverpool are going to be six points behind. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll put in a Tottenham loss then. Because I feel like the rest of my results for City were okay. Forest away. Let's do a Tottenham draw. I don't think we'll lose away at Tottenham. 89-85. Is there any results that I could maybe... Oh, I gave that Liverpool a 2-2. I still feel like that could be a 2-2. And I think United can do a job at home to Arsenal. So I might have to just back myself, you know? Maybe this will be a 2-2. Maybe Liverpool me Liverpool gets one away, yeah. So even then, Manchester City with the fourth Premier League title in a row, setting another record under Pep Guardiola. But will they win the Champions League? I think we beat Real Madrid. I think we get past Real Madrid. I think we've got something different about us in the Champions League now. We've got to the final. We've had horrific instances of being knocked out, especially against Real Madrid. And I think we're better for it. We've got into two finals now and we finally won one. So I'm back us to beat Real Madrid. And I think out of Arsenal and Bayern, I back us to beat Bayern. I'm way more worried about Arsenal, personally. I can't think of anything worse than going up against an English team in the Champions League because we haven't got through and we, we always lose against them. So generally, I think if we go up against Arsenal... I think we lose. I back us, win. I think Arsenal don't beat Bayern. I think they go out to Bayern. It's their last hurrah for Bayern. I think they go out to Bayern and then we beat Bayern. Then we were in the final. Atletico Madrid beat Dortmund in some horrible game. PSG waltz past bloody Barcelona. And then I think PSG get to the final. It's us versus PSG. And I think... Oh, I don't rate PSG at all, but I can't put us doing a double after the treble. But, oh, you know what? I can. We also win the Champions League. <laughs> now, on to the FA Cup. We have us against Chelsea and Coventry against United. United get past Coventry with ease. I think we lose to Chelsea. If you remember a couple of seasons ago, we had a, we had like three games against Chelsea in succession. It was like one in the league, one in the FA Cup final, 
and then or semi-final and then the Champions League final. Everyone's like, oh, we're going to batter them. And we didn't. Uh, the Guerrero did like a silly, he did a Penenka. He tried to Penenka when against Eduard Mendy, who somehow was absolutely fantastic at the time. And then we struggled against them twice this season. And at this point now, I'm like, it's a mental block at this point. It's a mental block. It's a kryptonite thing. It's, it's fucking Pochettino. It's the same as he was at Spurs. It's, it's that fella. So I think we lose to Chelsea or maybe like penalties in the cup. Horrid. Horror show that is. <sighs> There's seven games left, lads. Two points above the relegation playoff. And I wouldn't back us to beat anyone in a relegation playoff. I can't lie. I think this, the, the ratio of winning the relegation playoff as the team going down is actually quite high. However, we are so bad. I can't, I watch us every single week on Sky Bet, and sometimes on Sky Sports Football YouTube. We're so bad. But look, we score goals. We score a lot of goals. We concede fucking loads. I fear we may be cooked. I'm going to say we finish. Oh, I think we finish here. If I'm being brutally honest, I think we finish here. It just feels like that's an, our, our tragic remit as a club. And we're going to finish in the relegation playoff. And it's going to be the worst thing ever. I saw a thing earlier that we might have to sell the Veltons Arena if we get relegated. I, please not. I've been once. Because maybe if I was optimistic, look, we're only four points off 11th. I've been your boy, Kieran. This has been the most unbiased predictions ever. And I hope you had a lovely ham and egg sandwich for lunch. That's not a thing, is it? Ham and egg. Weird. <laughs>